Hi guys, welcome back to the corner. I know it's been a week. I am still trying to get a handle on the schedule of mine. Um, I'm Shannon, by the way, if you're new, welcome to the corner. I am the crazy Looney Tune of this corner. <laughs> um, you'll be noticing that Toothless is no longer there anywhere, which sucks. Because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, I figured I'd just chime in real quick. I don't have any packages coming right now. Hopefully after Christmas. I know I'm in a couple of swaps, so maybe I'll have something there. But I did get this in the mail. A friend of mine sent them to me. And they're cute. They're cover minders. Isn't it neat? <laughs> and I got twins. <laughs> so, and I'm going ahead and put my disclaimer out right now. This video is not intended for kids of any kind underneath the age of 18. Because I will accidentally drop a cuss word here and there. So, is that everything I can think of? Yes. That is it. Alright, so, you saw last week, right? I didn't get a lot done. I still didn't get a lot done this week. But I was able to get to the, this part. I can't remember where I left off. Hmm. But if you would like to see where I left off, go check out the Whippet Chat before this one. So, this is a diamond painting that I had gotten back when I first started and did not understand the copyrights and all that. The store that I got it from off of AliExpress, they knew not, do not sell it, so do not ask. But I would like to give credit where credit is due as far as the artist. And I will leave Miss Jasmine Beckett Griffith, her artist website in the description below. This is the Peppermint Dragoline. I have two more of hers, but I don't think I'll put these on videos. I think those will just be for me. I just know I started with this one. I would like to finish this one with you guys. And then after that, I guess I will start hunting down a <clears throat> diamond paintings that I can actually do and not get in trouble. Thank you, Tiny Worlds of Wonder, for giving us that information. But I would hate to stop this particular painting while I've been recording it and you guys not at least see the end of it but Jasmine Jasmine go check out her website she's got some cool little draggalings and if you did hear that yes that is Miss Toothless being a little pain in the tuchus you need to eat don't know why you keep banging the door but or banging your bowl but you need to eat sorry guys she's being a little snot today <clears throat> okay, so what number was I on before I started? Okay, so work this week has been normal. Everybody's getting ready to start getting things together for Thanksgiving, so not that many rentals. Um, here at home, uh, yeah, home's been interesting. A little too negative for my channel, so I won't go there. <laughs> Mr. J has been a typical guy let's just put it that way um, I did have a accident the other day which I ended up not only going to physical therapy which she did a number on my back but I'm feeling much better today and heating pad is definitely my best friend right now my lower back is definitely locked up from the surgery and not being able to do the stretches that I needed to do so I could recover. So I see a deep tissue massage in my future. I know it's going to hurt, but if it can help get my back loose and I can start moving around <laughs> without it killing me first thing in the morning, that would be great. Um, let's see next week. 
We all know next week is Turkey Day. Or, I actually could technically say this week. No. Next week. Around Thursday. However you want to put it. So, I will be going to go see my family while Mr. J is at work. The joys of being married to a chef. He has to work. I've made a deal with him. Uh, you can work Thanksgiving, but over my dead body are you working Christmas? I want at least Christmas with him. So, that better happen or I'm going to be not so nice and cuckoo. I'm going to be a teetotal you know what. <laughs> you don't like it when that happens, but anyway. Uh, what else has been going on? Um, my Christmas shopping is almost done. Which I'm shocked. This is the first year in a long time since we'll have it done way before the deadline. Let's see. Um, yeah, guys. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. But I just want to let you guys know that I am here. I actually had a friend ask me if I was doing away with my channel. No, I am not. I am just running out of things to talk about because my life right now is very boring but maybe I'll have some stories when I come back next Saturday or maybe even next Friday because Mr. J is not working on Friday no he is working Friday so I will have the house to myself oh there is one big thing so everybody keep your fingers crossed and I might actually have a um a chance to show you We'll start out, we went, we've been looking at apartments to move come the, the beginning of next year. I guess you could say April would be the beginning of next year, but. But where we're at now, uh, things are not going so hot. Having a hole in my ceiling and it taking them almost five to six months to fix. And then I just found another spot on my floor right by where Toothless sits. And that floor is now starting to give away as well. So, yeah, now. This apartment, I, yeah, we've, we've had it. And it's time to move. So we went and checked out a really awesome apartment yesterday. We've already seen two of this apartment complex. One had a, a loft in it, but it had the spiral staircase. It felt too cramped to me. So they showed us another one. Yes, I will be getting my own room. So now my question is, should I change my channel name to The Crazy Room? <laughs> or just leave it as The Crazy Corner? Um, so when we went to go see those two, the other one was, it's a two bedroom for the other one, much bigger. Um, it had a very spacious layout, so there was no wall dividers in between, like, the living room and the kitchen and the dining room. There was no walls to space everything off. So, the gentleman that we spoke with, who was really, really nice, um, took our information and wanted us to take a look at this other apartment. It is a little bit bigger. Um, definitely um, more spacious. But it has that home time feel where you know where the living room is. You know where the kitchen is. You know where the dining room is. Um, it comes with a patio. Which me and Mr. J do like to go outside. But where we're at right now going out the door down the stairs and up the street to a picnic patio now I wouldn't mind having an outdoor patio cook dinner on inside and then go have it sitting on on the patio be able to sit outside and just listen to the rainfall without getting drowned um the other awesome thing is the uh it has two bedrooms so the master bedroom is huge and which Mr. J likes. I do too, but that's basically, we don't really do anything in there but sleep. Unless I decide I want to go to bed early, then the TV comes on. 
But Mr. J's favorite parts were in, I think this was what, excuse me, sealed the deal. Give me something to drink. <clears throat> was in the very open type layout of the apartment that we saw before it had a garden tub a garden tub <laughs> the apartment we looked at yesterday also has a garden tub it also has a stand-up shower within the same bathroom um but how the layout of the bathroom was was just really nice because you had the garden tub and then you had that say here's your tub right here right so then there's a wall right here by the door and then there's got like a shelf so I can see like candles or oh, yeah definitely candles going right there definitely definitely <laughs> um, but his top thing was he wanted the garden tub and the kitchen Hence the word, I married a chef, right? So, with the spacious two-bedroom apartment that we looked at, or the more open lay layout, however you want to put it, the kitchen in that one was, it was very roomy, but there wasn't a lot of cabinet space. So, the one we looked at yesterday, it had the, I want to say probably even a better kitchen, because he liked the kitchen from the loft. Apartment with the loft. Which is basically a one bedroom with a loft. I just didn't like it. Because downstairs. There literally was in the middle of the living room. There's a spiral staircase. To go up to the loft. Like, yeah. And then when I asked him. Uh, how are we getting my table up there? Oh we're going to put it, put it on pulleys. No you're not. Yeah, I squashed that real quick. I don't need my stuff getting broke because they don't want to have to carry it upstairs. <laughs> and those, uh, the uh, spiral staircase is not exactly wide. It's actually very tiny for a staircase. And the fact that it uh, rotates or however you want to put it, that just, no. Nah. I can see me trying to come going up those stairs or down those stairs either in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning to go to my little spot and falling down those hard ass steps. Ain't happening. Not happening. Mm -mm. But the new apartment, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that everything works out and we get it and come spring of next year we will actually have a new place to stay me and him actually were talking about it we wish we had found this place sooner i don't like to move around he does i don't it costs too much to move it costs more to move than to deal with pay uh rent increase because if you think about the last time you moved i guarantee you you probably spent Um, at least a grand unless you have someone who has got unless you're someone who's got someone that has a truck a big big truck um that has a whole bunch of friends that are willing to help and don't mind having pizza and beer for payment but now it's just me and him and with everything i've gone through this year i don't think i'm going to have the strength to be able to help a whole lot um, the apartment complex that we looked at, the layout is on all three levels. So hopefully it'll be easy and we can get the ground level. But I think we were more, uh, ideal on getting the second floor. So we will see. But I do like the idea of having that upstairs patio so I don't have to I don't feel like our privacy is being interrupted having a patio that has a sliding glass door. So, and with our schedules being all wonky, the last thing I want to worry about is having someone break in. Granted, 
the neighborhood or the area we live in you don't really have that so much but still that safety you still have to have it in your back in your head it's not how it used to be when a lot of people were growing up where you could actually just leave the front door unlocked and nobody would bother you so so keep your fingers crossed on that guys and I'll keep you updated because something tells me uh, yeah I will be showing videos of that because I'm gonna need ideas on what to do with my little room <laughs> it's definitely huh. it's big enough to put my table and my computer desk and I'm wondering if it might be room to put maybe a um maybe a not necessarily a dresser but maybe some type of small type dresser that I can use to instead of constantly moving my diamond painting out of the way I can use it to do my coloring so I'd have my diamond painting on one table, my computer in the middle, and then my coloring off onto the other side. That way I've got my all, all three sections and then behind me maybe um, some type of storage system. It's got to be something uh, neat, <laughs> definitely organized because if it gets cluttered and messed up, Mr. J will have a it and then I got to figure out okay well that's gonna pull me away from him when I come home so he don't know it yet but I will be getting me a table that I can use in the living room so I can watch TV with him and do my diamond painting at the same time he just don't know it yet might have to be one of those secret missions to go get while he's at work and just come home and have it all set up and ready to go. That way he can't say anything. <laughs> but I don't think he'd say anything anyway as long as it stayed nice and neat. Because I can see what's going to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... I'll be in my room the entire time while he's gone at work. And then when he comes home, he's going to want me to come out of that room. I told him, I was like, well, I could just set up my uh, craft room in the dining room. And the dining room at this new apartment, oh my gosh, guys, it's huge. It is huge. And where he's talking about putting the TV, I could definitely set up my table to where I can actually turn it. And as the TV's not behind me, I can actually have it to where it's in front. <clears throat> I don't know. We will see. I am getting, I don't like the idea of moving. I definitely am not looking forward to going through all this crap. Because our storage room. He is adamant that we go through it and throw stuff away, which I've already started, but come January, it's going to be even more of a purge. But then maybe with the new room, I can actually put up some pictures that I've got that, because that way he doesn't have a <clears throat> home full of unicorns. <laughs> Sorry, I've been collecting since I was six. So, I'm actually a little excited to be able to get that stuff able to be pulled back out. And then obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, it's got two bathrooms, two full baths. So, like first thing in the morning, if while he's asleep, um, I can go to the other bathroom, which I'm assuming is probably going to be mine, unless I kick him out of the one that's in the master but I do get up for, for him, even though I leave work after him. But at least I can be able to shut the door and let him sleep and do my deal. And not have to worry about waking him up so where he can get his sleep too. Because he goes to bed late 
I go to bed semi-early, but last night would be the perfect example. <clears throat> I wasn't feeling too hot thanks to being poked and prodded yesterday. And then I have to go back to see both in two weeks. It'll be seeing the physical therapist every single week. But because of an accident I had this week, I also have to go see my other doctor to make sure I get clearance so where the physical therapist can do what she needs to do. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to having another two to three months of seeing a doctor every week. I didn't like it at the beginning of this year, and I definitely would like to get rid of it by the end of this year. Even more so because once the end of this year hits, uh, guess who's going to have to start paying on her doctor bills again because that stupid little deductible starts all over. So we will see. And those stretches the physical therapist has got me doing. <laughs> leave it to a man to think yoga is about sex. I'll just leave it at that. So. Anything else? Oh, Mr. J is mad at me, though. He said he didn't want anything for Christmas, and I've already gotten it. I just sent the money to my sister to make sure she gets it. And he won't too happy with me on that. He's like, well, what am I supposed to get you? I'm like, I want to make sure you're home for Christmas. And not be at work? Is that too much for a girl to ask? Because you know what's going to happen when we get this apartment, right? Um, I mean, fixing that room for me will be my Christmas present. He just don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, I got all these little ideas in my head. The only thing is, is that with that particular room, now the master bedroom had a nice big window in it, so it let a lot of sunlight in, but the little guest bedroom, not so much. And I don't think it had any lights in it, so. I am going to be looking for recommendations on some decent lighting. Because, yeah, the, I've got three lamps just so I could do these videos and it's all right by my table the rest of the living room is dark it's cloudy today so there's no sunlight coming in yeah I don't want to be in a room that's going to be dark especially if I'm not watching TV so so it's going to be I'm going to be looking for storage and I'm going to be looking for lighting and I want to try to find something I can mount my camera to the wall. So when I'm recording with you guys, if I'm at my table, it's not shaking like it, like it does. So that way anyone who is sensitive to quick movement as far as from a camera and giving you guys car sickness, hopefully that will stop. But I gotta find the right thing. Unless I could always just doctor up what I got now. But I don't think. No, nope, we don't have a um, drill or anything like that that goes through metal. Oh, well, I'm sure I find something though. But these, it's not bad looking for a 30 by 40. She is 30 by 40. Um. Up close, it looks a little blurry, but let me see if I can take you guys up a little bit more, and I'll cut the light out, my um, light pad out, so where you guys can see a little bit better. And I think I know the other reason why I uh, toothless is uh, being a little snot. I have been so tired, I have not wanted to go get bugs. See? It don't look too bad. 
Let me lie back. I don't like the glare that I'm seeing. But it don't look too bad. I'm getting down to her nose and her mouth is right in here, I think. So we'll see, because that's the one thing I noticed on the other one that I didn't like too much. But this is just going in my little portfolio. Like I said, this is one of the ones I first got. And no, I did not get anything off of the 1111 sale. Just because I am just back, getting back to work. Um, and of course, I got Christmas I got to take care of first. I'm just grateful I don't have to cook. I get to go home and go home to my sisters and still all my mom and my sisters cooking. And then bring it home. Let's get you back guys back down. What's that? So what is everybody's favorite part of Thanksgiving dinner? Is it the desserts? Is it the ham, the turkey? Um, or do some people go outside the box and for people say do pizza, <laughs> which that doesn't make any sense, but I'm sure there's something that y'all do differently that's not the normal ham and turkey. Because I know one year we did for Christmas, it was barbecue. And yeah, you did hear me say right, barbecue, because my mom and sister did not want to cook two turkeys basically a month apart so for Thanksgiving we did the ham and the turkeys and then for Christmas we had barbecue so I'm just curious which holiday am I gonna get my favorite thing I love my mom's cherry cheese pie it's not cherry cheesecake but it is made with cream cheese but it's so good. And I don't have to share it. Because Mr. J does not like cherries. So it's all mine. And it's one of those pies. That after that first initial slice. Yes it's still good. But after that first initial slice. The very next day. It's like everything's all nice and set. And it's just so good. It's like all the the ingredients that she uses in it just like marry together. It's like sweet and tart all at the same time, just like cherries are. Now I'm talking about food. I'm getting hungry. So I think this is probably going to be a short one, guys. But I am. I'm getting hungry. And yesterday wore me out. And the neighbors upstairs last night didn't help none either. We went to bed at 10. And then, oh, excuse me, I told you I was tired. Um, we went to bed at 10. All of a sudden, I'm waking up and hearing all this banging and stomping and everything at 12 o'clock. So I'm like, okay. I roll over, try to get comfortable. I go back to sleep. Then I got woken up again at 2 o'clock. I'm like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. And then, of course, Mr. J woke up at 2.30. I'm like, okay. And then I woke up at 6.18. I'm like, that's it. I'm done. I'm not waking up anymore. I'm not going to put fight to go back to sleep. I'm up. So I've been up ever since trying to be quiet. Then Mr. J went to work. And here we are. So yeah, what are your what are your favorite parts about Thanksgiving? Is it the food? Is it the football? Or is it just spending time with family? I actually get to watch my nephews run around. And I hadn't seen them in a in a while. So I'm looking forward to that. Yes, my family lives close, but with me having to recover, I don't think I could have handled a 45 minute drive in the car and not being able to move. So, let's 
All right, yep, the more and more I think about it, I am starving, Mobbins. So I'm going to let you guys go. I am still here. I'm not going anywhere. As I said at the beginning of my video, this is not made for kids. I know everyone is saying a kid is from 13 and under. Well, I'm going to say 18 and under. Because there are topics that I talk about. I know some people may not give a flying flip. But little one's ears don't need to be hearing it. So I'd just rather just cover all my bases. Alright guys. Enjoy your turkey day. I am going to go see if I can't see how much more I can get of her done today. I'm hoping to have this one done by the end of the month. Um, I've already finished one. So I think that's what? Two paintings for the month? I'll have to go back and look. I did finish a work whip and I got another one started. You'll have to wait and see at the end of the month. Um, I haven't done really any coloring, but okay. Enough of my rambling. I am freaking starving, Marvin. So, you guys have a great Thanksgiving. I will see you later. Um, probably either next Friday or Saturday if I get anything in the mail. The only reason why you guys didn't see that one unwrapped because I was about to kill the postman. He said he put it in my mailbox and one in the mailbox. He checked it, called the next morning. Is he? Yeah, it's still in the mailbox. No, well, it was on my banister at the where all the mailboxes are at. Anyway, all right, I'm done. I got to go eat. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Like I said, if you're new to the corner, welcome. I am always all over the place. I am not going to excuse myself for it. Um, but yeah, have a good Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.